three, two, one, fire! All right, we're gonna turn off. Oh, yes, it worked! Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and in today's video, we're back in Tiny Sailor's World, and today we're going to try to sink the Lusitania as realistically as possible. So that means I'm joined by Jay Killen, he'll be sailing the Lusitania, and I'll be sailing U-20. So, yeah, this is gonna be pretty interesting. So yeah, guys, let's get into the video. Now, here we are in New York, and as you can see, the Lusitania is arriving to pick up its passengers. Ouch! Looks like the <laughs> captain of the Lusitania seems to have uh, not brushed up on his docking skills. That is going to be a bit of paint damage, maybe a few portholes broken in. But uh, the Lusitania is here, and it is taking on, well, will be taking on some passengers. So as you can see, here they come. They are docking up, and this is much nicer. As you can see, they're actually docking right alongside these gangplanks here, so... There we are, the Lusitania has arrived. Now, unfortunately, for, well, a lot of people in the world at this time, World War I was occurring, so, yeah. And there was also a bit of a warning in the newspaper telling people who were gonna sail on any ship that was going to cross the Atlantic to be wary, there could be German U-boats out there to torpedo their ships. And they were just being pretty obvious about it, they weren't hiding it, so, yeah, people were boarding this ship with the full knowledge that they could be torpedoed, but they probably didn't care that much. So, yeah, as you can see, here's the Lusitania. It has arrived, and we're going to go ahead and watch it leave the dock here. So, how many passengers do you have on board here, Jay Killen? Uh, 1,959, which should be the exact number that were on the Lusitania the day it sank. Well, not day it sank, but I mean... uh. Technically the day it sank, but upon departure it would. Yeah, so we're going to have this pretty realistic here. Now, the last time I oh, did well. sink... Oh, wow, that is pretty <laughs> aggressive. Well, the last time I did sink the Lusitania, I did sink it somewhat realistically. I just happened to be on a server where there were, like, two Lusitanias, and I used the U-boat. And that was just kind of coincidence. I didn't really plan that. But this time, I am planning this sinking, and maybe I'll be able to get it accurately. I don't know. Um, I mean, this whole thing is going to be down to how accurate my aim is with the torpedoes. Now, this storm is really rocking you around. I would be worried yeah. that uh, the ship might tear itself apart before it even gets to leave the port. I mean, look at this. Well, it is very early morning for the Lusitania here. It will be leaving very shortly. It is now 6 in the morning, and the Lusitania is loaded up with its passengers and cargo. And this is going to be when the ship departs. As you can see, just over there, the sun has just risen. And that means Lusitania is about to leave its dockside. So, J. Killen, if you're ready to go, go for it. You can leave port. And once J. Killen actually leaves port, we're going to go ahead and we're going to spawn in U-20. And that is going to be pretty interesting because getting the correct shot on the Lusitania is going to be very difficult because obviously my aim is horrible and he's going to be moving too he's not going to stand still so it may take one or two attempts so this will be quite interesting so there goes the lusitania sailing off now and we do have a bit of a blizzard as well so yeah good luck jay killen and there it goes leaving new york forever or well for the last time i should say and forever as well because obviously it's probably going to sink unless I run out of torpedoes because I'm such a horrible aim, but there we go. One thing that I do find a little bit surreal about this is knowing that that ship is going to never return here. It's gone for good. So there it is. It's last departure. All right, so here we are in U-20. We are leaving Halifax, and what I'm actually doing is I'm sailing out to sea. Now, the reason I'm doing that and not staying at the port where it's all safe and nice is because the Lusitania was sunk from its starboard side, not its port side. And where the ship will be coming from is going to be, at least on the land side, it's gonna be on the port side, which means we have to sail out to sea away from the land, so the ship is between the land and us. That's gonna be a little interesting, and hopefully my aim is gonna be good on this so we can accurately sink the ship. Obviously, um, it's probably not going to go as well as I planned, but we'll see what happens. Okay, so I think this should be good. I'm going to slow the ship down. 
and I'm just gonna go ahead and dive the vessel. So there we are. All right, I'm diving the vessel here and I'm slowing down because we're in a good position to just kind of sit and wait for our target, which is the Lusitania. Oh, now, I, uh, I hit a mine. <laughs> my disappointment is immeasurable and my day is ruined. <laughs> wait, can you use pumps to repair it? I can, it's, you know, just, it'll keep trying to want to sink and stuff. That's oh, close your watertight doors with T. That should do the I trick. I know, but it, then it just, you know... It goes yeah. slower, but I don't think the ship was going at full speed when it went through here. If I'm wrong, please feel free to correct me in the comments. But, yeah, I, I'm not sure if it was going at full speed or not. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to look for a target, and I think I see it over there. Let's see. Oh, yes. It is just off in the distance, right about there. Just off to the left of the crosshair. Well, U-20 is going to sit in the shadows here, wait for its target, and then when it arrives, obviously, we're going to take action and sink the Lusitania. So, we'll see how this goes. Right now, without the binoculars, you're just a tiny speck in the distance that I can see is moving. And actually, I think I need to move. So I may be right in your path, which obviously isn't good. I mean, think of what happened to the uh, Olympic during wartime. Well, not what happened to the Olympic, but what happened to the U-boat that the Olympic hit. So that was pretty catastrophic, and obviously we don't want that happening because we want to realistically sink the Lusitania. All right, this is it. This is the moment you've been waiting for, folks. Here we go. Three, two, one, fire! All right, we're gonna turn off. Oh, yes, it worked. Okay, we have fired one torpedo. Oh my gosh, your health is dropping quick. Was I able to just sink uh, you there? I'm still going. All right, I am turning around. We're gonna see if we can get another shot. This is such an eerie shot right here because I can see you, but you're just off in the distance. We've got a little bit of fog. I can see the smoke coming off and you're definitely in peril. So this is probably what the, uh, the U-boat captain might have seen if they surfaced the sub. So that is pretty interesting. So wait, am I listing for you right now? Just a little bit. I do see more of a forward mm. trim than a list. Yeah, for me, I don't have like any kind of list at all. Okay, so maybe that's just my end. I don't know. It um, might currently, be. I'm chasing you down, getting ready to fire another torpedo, but I can only travel 15 knots, so well, I'm I think. I'm going 12 knots now. <laughs> oh, I'm really? Down. Wow. Yeah, I think I've pretty much stopped flooding at this point. I'm at 1,730 health. Well, that's great to know, because I'm on your tail right now, about to fire another torpedo. That's gonna do it for me. Yeah, unless you strike a mine, which would be even more alternate history. Technically, in real life, uh, upon the, the explosion, uh, basically, they lost all control of the ship. They couldn't communicate to the engine room. They couldn't slow the ship down. They couldn't turn the ship, I think. So, so they were just going, just yeah. Going forward. So that's what's happening here. You're actually simulating that here as well. Now I'm going to go yeah. ahead and I'm going to fire another torpedo. This one's going to be at a funny angle. So here we go and fire. It is fired. Oh boy. Oh, I think I it missed. missed. Yeah, it did. I'm trying to get the bow because I don't want it to sink by the stern. Obviously, yeah, that would be a little this weird. Way a little bit. Angle up and fire. And I fire it. Oh. And boom. Yeah, you're done. I think you're done. Yep. Oh boy. I'm going. Oh my gosh, yeah, look at that. You are going down. Let me actually stop the uh, U-boat there and back up. Are you sinking level? Uh, no, I am listing a bit to the starboard side. Oh, wow, you are trimming a little bit forward, but it seems like you're dropping kind of level here, at least from what I'm seeing. So, wow, that is actually pretty interesting to see. I'm just going to go over here. How are you doing? Uh, not too good. Oh, I wonder why. I think it's because you've got two giant holes in the side of your hull taking on water. Oh my gosh, your lifeboats are getting into a fight over there. Oh, there goes a funnel. Surprisingly, the uh, boat deck is not awash. Oh, there goes another one. And I'm about to crash into you, just slightly. Just a little bit of damage. So it might have not been the most realistic Lusitania sinking in this game, but um, we did our best to recreate the Lusitania sinking. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to switch roles. I'm going to be the Lusitania, and you're going to be the U-Boat. And we're going to see how much better you can be at being the U-Boat compared to my U-Boat skills. 
which are right. pretty terrible. I think that's interesting. It's actually pretty foggy right now, so... Oh, which yeah. Which technically would be a bit realistic, because uh, when t uh, the Lusitania was coming into uh, nearing Ireland, they went through a, uh, a fog, so they I think they did end up slowing down a bit. I can't be too sure, but I they did experience that a quite heavy correct. fog. I think they were doing some zigzag maneuvers as well, and that yeah. actually brought them closer to where the U-boat was. Now, obviously, I could be wrong. I haven't brushed up on my Lusitania history, so yeah, if I am wrong, feel free to correct me in the comments. It's always better to know than not know, so yeah. Well, I'm about to make my way through that area where you probably were torpedoed or, well, hit a mine, so I'm going to be very careful passing through this area. I'm actually going to check underwater as well just to make sure. Now, you're sure it was a mine, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I didn't hear any kind of beeping noise to indicate a torpedo or anything, so it definitely was a mine of some kind. Okay. So I better watch out here. Now the big question is, can you see me right now? I don't think I might be able to. I'm not too sure. It's still pretty foggy, so I'm not 100% sure. I can see uh, the oil rig out in the distance. I wonder where the- oh I yeah, there's the R ring over there, so I should be to the right of it right now. I, I think I do see you. You're moving off to the right. Yes, actually, I'm gonna fix that because around this area, you ran into a mine. So I'm gonna turn yeah. off to the right, your left, and avoid this passage over here because that may be a little bit dangerous. Yeah, oh no, I've just hit a mine. Left. I just oh, hit a great. mine. I cannot believe I just did that. Dead on. Not even off to one side or anything like that. I sailed straight into it. Okay, so luckily I was able to activate the pumps one more time, and now I should be all set to be struck by those torpedoes from Jay Killen's U-boat. So this is going to be interesting. So how do you see me now? I'm getting pretty close. Uh, In terms of the angle... Uh, I can see your funnels. It's just it kind of looks like it's just conglomerated into one big funnel. Oh my gosh. But as you get closer, I could start to distinguish them separately. Because you're kind of moving at like a diagonal angle for me. Don't worry, passengers. We are about to activate the best maneuver possible. The zigzag maneuver. Here we go. Oh yeah, I can see. I can see your uh, masts now. I still have absolutely no sight on you. Now, just a tip, if you do want to strike the uh, ship with the U-boat, or, well, with the torpedoes on the U-boat, you probably want to be just below the surface. Where are you at? No, oh, you should be frightened. Uh-oh. Well, I was able to activate my pumps, so that is good. Where are you? Oh, I just clipped your rudder there. Did I get hit? Yes, I did! I saw something. But I didn't know it was an explosion until just now. Okay, that's not good. Um, let's just make sure the pumps are activated and everything's going. Oh, there we go. I've just been struck again. Yep, I'm done. I'm sinking. This is it. The Lusitania is going down. And it's going down with a very, very shallow forward trim and no list at all. Oh, wow, look at that. It is going down. I still have no idea where you are. Oh, there you are, right over there. I just surfaced. I'm, like, right over here. Yep, I'm going down, and I'm going down in, well, very shallow water, technically, compared to the ship. And I'm going down at a very shallow angle. Luckily, in this alternate history version, the lifeboats made it free from the ship and were only destroyed when they crashed into each other around the water of the ship sinking. So, yeah. Now there's only two funnels remaining, which, um... It's quite an eerie look to the ship as well. Oh, yeah, now it's going really quick. All right, time to abandon. It is going down and going down quick. It's a very shallow version of the sinking that we saw with your Lusitania when you were sailing it. And there oh, it is. And it just dropped. Yep. And the wreck is not on its side. It is sitting flat. So another alternate history version of the Lusitania sinking. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and a comment, and I'll see you next time, guys. Goodbye.